Welcome or welcome back to Danielle Deandra's Kitchen. Today's recipe is my crawfish etouffee. This recipe is easy, delicious, and quick because I made my base out of a can. I know you didn't see that coming, so keep watching this recipe to learn. My olive oil is ready, and now I'm going to add in the good old Holy Trinity. If you aren't aware of what the Holy Trinity is, it is part yellow or white onion, part celery, and part green bell pepper. Now that you know what the Holy Trinity is, let's go ahead and saute it. The Holy Trinity is the base to any Cajun or Creole recipe here in New Orleans, and that's exactly what we're cooking today. It's my Creole crawfish etouffee recipe. The next ingredient is crawfish. You can peel it yourself after a seafood boil or you can buy them frozen. Let's mix in the Holy Trinity and crawfish tails. My crawfish tails and Holy Trinity are mixed together. Next, let's add our dry seasonings, and they are all about a tablespoon of each. First is salt. Next is dried basil. Next is dried oregano leaves. Dried thyme leaves. And last but not least, black pepper. Let's mix everything thoroughly. My crawfish tails, holy trinity, and dry seasonings has blended so well, but now it's time to add the star of the show. It's the Blue Runner Creole Etouffee Base. The Blue Runner Creole Etouffee Base is one of my favorite canned Creole recipes made by Blue Runner. As the can says, just add your favorite crawfish, seafood, and rice, and you're done. Blue Runner dishes are easy to cook. I'm talking 30 minutes or less for busy individuals like me who always want a Creole or a homemade recipe during the week. Now that I've added in my Blue Runner Creole Etouffee base, I'm going to let this come to a boil and then a simmer. But while it's coming to a boil, let's add a few more ingredients. A teaspoon of minced garlic. A tablespoon of liquid shrimp and crab boil. And a tablespoon of cornstarch to thicken my etouffee base. Let's mix it all in. Now let's bring our etouffee to a boil and then a simmer. And now that we've come to a boil, I'm going to add in two more ingredients before the simmering. About a handful of green onion and two bay leaves. And now we simmer. I can't wait to show you all my final results. While we're awaiting the final results of my crawfish etouffee recipe, let me introduce you into Blue Runner Authentic Creole Meals. If you've been following me long enough, you know that I am from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I love an authentic Creole meal. But I don't always have time to make a roux from scratch and so on and so on. And that is when I fell in love with Blue Runner products, ranging from canned red beans, gumbo bases, and so much more. If you're not sure about which Blue Runner products you like to try, head over to Blue Runner's official website for details about their products and recipes. And we are simmered. 
you can't tell me my base came out of a can because this is giving homemade crawfish etouffee and that is exactly the mission of blue runner thank you so much for watching danielle deandre's kitchen see you in my next video